Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of my Star Trek series, Star Trek Cards for Nerds. Uh, in the last video series, I was showing you this card over here. And then when you read about read on the back, it had to do with the story um, about a spirit that thought he had the pow uh, powers of uh, Apollo. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is... Um, the interesting thing about Star Wars is where the story writers got their got their ideas from. I was mentioning in in some of my other videos that I thought Star Trek was sort of like the the prelude to um, the Star Wars series, and that Star Wars are copied from from Star Trek because back then there wasn't that many science fiction science fiction films. So then that begs the question: Where did Star Wars or sorry Star Trek get their storylines from? And this card over here. It's called The Apple with Kirk McLean, with uh, Captain Kirk, the Canadian actor. And you probably, I, I knew right away when I saw the word Apple that it, they got the storyline from, from the Bible, Adam and Eve. And I'm going to read the back of the card in a, in a moment. Um, some people might find the, 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 these video series a bit boring, but that's why I said it's for nerds. It's for people who are big fans of Star Trek and want to know the nitty ditties, nitty gritties of the, the storylines and the characters. So I'm just going to read this out. Sorry if I get the pronunciation of some of these words incorrect. Later on, um, I'll put the cards down and you can read the cards yourself up on, your, up on your computer screen or on your phone. The Apple. Beaming down to Gamma uh, Triagulia, T-R-I-A-N-G-U-L-I, -I, number four. Um, a USS Enterprise away team finds an apparent paradise only to discover exploding rocks, feminist plants, and menacing lightning bolts. In case you're wondering why I'm spelling some of the words out, maybe um, people who are watching my videos might be hearing impaired. Okay, so moving along with the story. The inhabitants, however, are gentle like gentle like children, are a gentle childlike people called the feeders of Vala. Mass as a huge stone serpent head, Vala is actually a computer created by an extinct race to protect the innocent children from knowledge. The inhabitants' food offerings to Vala fuel the computer's reactor. Kirk and Spock learn that the that the power-seeking computer is also draining the energies of the starship. After a struggle with the villagers, um, Kirk weakens the computer by withholding its food, then uses the ship's phasers to destroy it. And the, the planet people, no longer innocent, are set on a path of self-determination. So it was interesting to note that there were 79 um, episodes of, of Star Trek. The first uh, television series that the first television show that aired was on September the 6th, 1966, on the Canadian television station called CTV. Then on September the 8th, 1966, it was aired in the United States on NBC. I remember a person told me that science fiction, um, she read quite a bit, and she just said most of it was just junk. Have I read a lot of science fiction? No, um, not not too much. But I I do notice that with science fiction films, unless it's written really well, it's really hard to watch. So I'll give you the difference. The first Star Wars, Star Wars um, movie series with um, Luke Skywalker, special effects were pretty good. But incredible storyline and acting. The Star Wars with Jar Jar Binks, great special effects, but this I found the storyline weak, and to be honest, the, the acting was a little bit weak too. So the reason why I point that out is that with Star Wars, or sorry, Star Trek, the television series, um, they were able to draw you into this fantasy world because science fiction, remember, you're dealing with outer space. It's not something that we see down on planet Earth. So the, the writers, the screenplays, the, the special effects all have to draw you into to watching the 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 movie or the the television show and Star Trek definitely did that I think that's one of the reasons why it was re-aired in, in the 1970s and, be, be, and became a cult a cult uh, cult favorite with the uh, science fiction and fantasy people so on this Star Trek card it's called the enemy within here you have uh, Captain Kirk McCoy the Scottish Scottish uh, doctor or is he the Scottish doctor? No. Is he the doctor? No. I think that's somebody else. Another character. And then we have, of course, Dr. Spock. The Enemy Within. 
A transporter malfunctions, stranded Sulo and a landing party on the frigid planet Alpha 117, and beams Captain Kirk up as two Kirks, one gentle, the other one violent. The the brutal Kirk we, we, wreaks havoc on the mysterious crew of the Starship Enterprise. When Yeoman Janice Ran accuses Kirk of assault, Mr. Spock senses something wrong. When, with the landing party near death and the two Kirks dying because they can't survive separately, Chief Engineer Scott, that's what, who the, the Scottish character was, Chief Engineer Scott runs the transporter separately. Uh, runs the transporter through the impulse engines. He beams the two Kirks to Alpha 117, bringing them back to the Starship Enterprise as one and rescues the landing party. Star Trek, again, filmed in the 1960s. And the reason why I bring that up is because it was at a time also when there wasn't that many women who worked outside the home. Now it's half as much as you have today. And I think also Star Trek, um, if there was a sort of any sort of like social meaning behind it, it was also trying to teach people about inclusion and about people who are, who are different. Maybe I'm, I'm reading a little bit too much into it. For all you Star Trek fans or science fiction fans, maybe in the comment below, so you can tell me if I'm overreaching. One thing I did notice when I was watching the Star Trek series on TVs way, way, way back then, they had, um, yes, female characters, and also the female characters, especially the attractive ladies, were always having um, uh, having uh, dramas with uh, Captain Captain Kirk right over here. Okay. Oh, and I should read out the card number. So the enemy within was card number number nine. So back over here. The Naked Time Star Trek card, and the card number is 113. I'm going to pause this uh, video, and I'm going to put it into part 5, because this video is getting quite long. Thanks again for watching. Go Star Trek.